Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy KP here, coming back at you with another ultimate map guide. This time, we're gonna be covering Dust 2. Let's get right into the video. Before this video starts, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm hosting a giveaway on Twitter. Go ahead and check it out in the description or in the pinned comment. I'm giving away an Op Neo Noir Factory New, an M4A4 Dragon King, and an AK-47 Redline. All for free. There's going to be three winners of the giveaway. You and two friends. Make sure to check that out down below. Now, let's get into what you guys came here for. The utility of Dust 2, the ultimate guide, starting off from T-Spawn yet again. First up is Xbox Smoke. Back yourself into this corner. Find this corner of the building, place your crosshair just above it, and this is a jump throw smoke from spawn. Now again, I'll repeat just like in my other videos, most of these smokes are 128 tick, and you will need a jump throw bind to throw these. A perfect jump throw bind, not something that you just jump and throw. Now as you can see, this smokes Xbox pretty quickly off spawn, and it covers exactly what it's supposed to do, which is to block the mid player. To smoke off Xbox from T-Spawn faster, place yourself along this position on the wall and find this piece of wood in between the wooden beams. I'll zoom in for those that need to see it. As long as you place your crosshair here and jump throw, this should land Xbox quicker than the other smoke. And as you can see, it serves the same purpose of blocking off vision by the mid player. Final smoke from T-Spawn is gonna be a long cross smoke. To do this, find the second step right here and smack yourself across it and find this smudge along the wall. Place your crosshair at the bottom left corner of the smudge and jump throw. This is going to land at the long corner, allowing you and your teammates to get out safely and block vision from enemy CTs. Going along with the long corner smoke, you're also going to need flashes in order to take control of long. Have your teammates either throw two types of flashes, a run jump throw along this line or a standing run throw on the top left of the palm tree. I'll show them both since they're thrown pretty similarly and you can choose which one you want to throw. The run jump throw should look like this and the standing throws should look something like this. Either way, as you can see when I hit my bind, both of these should do the trick in blinding enemy CTs going for a swing on long. So let's say you're taking control of long, you throw your flash for your teammate to get out. The CT is going to be full blind and you will be able to take long control. When it comes to the long cross smokes themselves, I'm going to be honest, I've seen a lot of videos telling people to use these god awful lineups from the trash can and throwing this and blah, 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 blah. And let me tell you why that's complete bullshit. This gap is too wide for a single smoke to cover. So if you've watched any pro players or if you've played this game at any decently high level, you'll know that this gap needs two smokes to cover it completely. No one ever uses a lineup from a barrel or a lineup from the corner to throw those cross smokes. Everyone throws the good dust two long cross smokes on the run like so. To get it in the back, bank it off the floor. To get it in the front, bank it off the wall. As you're running up, pull out a smoke. This takes one second, bank off the floor. Have another teammate, bank off the wall. And as you can see, that's the good cross smokes. I messed it up a little bit, but that's how you want to be throwing the long cross. None of this bullshit line up on the barrel, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, that's not how pro players do it. That's not how good players do it. To smoke off deep CT from A long, you're going to want to find these tiles on the wall and put yourself exactly in the middle of the tiles. Then find this piece of slab concrete sticking out from the wall and put your crosshair slightly above it. Left click throw and this should land deep in CT spawn, allowing you to cross without throwing both the long cross smokes. Perfectly blocks off vision from the CTs, but they can still see you if you jump top sight. Tamali car from a long, place yourself anywhere on the top of this barrel. Find the door handle and put your crosser just a little bit above it. I'll zoom in for those that need to see it. This is going to be a shift walk, tap, jump throw. So you're going to tap W and jump throw. 
It should look something like that. And this molly lands perfectly, not only getting the corner, but everywhere behind the car. To molly off, cat stares from A long and help out your teammates. Place yourself in the corner of this barrel and the wall. Find this leaf of the palm tree and put your crosshair all the way up to above the top of this lamp. I'll zoom in if you need to see an exact spot, you're, but you're going to want to run and jump throw and release when you cross the bottom of this lamp. This one takes a lot of practice and is pretty advanced, but if you land it right, it could knock in some easy damage and help your teammates take cat. Good flashes for a long A execute as a team are thrown from above this sign as a run throw. Simply place your crosshair a bit above the sign. Around here is good and run throw. As you can see, this is going to blind anyone peeking from the cat angle, trying to hold long. Anyone Gandalf. Anyone towards default sight and anyone backside as well. Next up from outside longhouse, I have a fast mid to B smoke that lands in CT spawn to show you guys for any quick strats or rushes that not a lot of people know about. Find yourself in the corner of these wooden crates. Look for the window along the wall and place your crosser at the top of the windowsill. This is going to be a run jump throw and you want to release when your crosshair reaches the center of the window. It should look something like this, and this will land in CT spawn very quickly, allowing for you and your team to go for rush plays. There is a slight gap on the left side, but that's why it's designed for quick strategies where you would be rushing through mid off spawn and have one person throwing that for you. Next up, I'm going to show cat flashes specifically for short cat and deep cat. First up for short cat, if you are a support player and your teammate wants to peek from lower tons like this, a good flash to throw for him in order to take that peek would be this. Simply place yourself at top mid, anywhere is fine. Find this white line along this pole, place your crosser to the right of it, and jump throw. This flash is going to blind any enemy player that's pushed off cat early or looking for a pick. As you can see, I'm going to rethrow it right here. Anyone that's deep off cat looking for something aggressive is going to get full blind. Now for deep cat, there's two ways you can go about this. Either you can do it yourself by looking at this small square, running up and jump throwing off the pallet, or having a teammate throw from back there. Doing this by yourself, it's going to be a run jump throw, so you're gonna to need to place your crosshair to the right of this square and below this pallet. Simply run and jump throw and release before you pass this doorway. It should look something like this. And if done correctly, it will blind anyone holding deep cat. For example, let me hit the bind here to rethrow the flash. And as you can see, bam, anyone holding these close angles or skadoodle angles are completely full white. Now the same flash can be thrown more from spawn, let's say if you're trying to help a teammate. Simply find yourself along this raised sidewalk and look at this right window pane or window sill along the wall. You're going to want to run and jump throw, and this should have the same effect, blinding deep cat, so you can help a teammate get map control. Flashback. As you can see, when I hit my bind here, this should do pretty much the same thing, blinding anyone playing these angles on a cat. From bottom mid, in order to go mid to B and split the bomb site, you're going to want to throw this smoke to block off CT spawn. Find yourself in the corner of Xbox and put your crosshair along this smudge or crack in the wall. It's a simple left click throw, so everyone should be able to throw this, and this one lands on both 64 and 128 tick. Smoke. Left click throw, and as you can see, it's going to perfectly block off CT spawn with no gaps, allowing you and your teammates to get through and split the B bomb site. If you're coming from lower tons and need to get up cat quickly in order to help your team or to rotate, 
a very interesting smoke that I haven't seen anyone throw before outside of the pro level is this. Come into the corner of mid doors and place your crosser about here to the left of this etching in the doorway. Simply right click throw and this will land on top of the bolt in the doorway allowing you to get up cat safely blocked from mid. Just be aware that your legs still can be seen, but it's a very cool smoke in order to hop up Xbox and to get to cat safely. Also from lower tons is a nice molly in order to clear out this pesky mid cubby that CTs will hide in to try and snag a free kill with a pistol. Simply line up along this wall in lower tons, pull out the molly and place your crosser just above this corner of the structure. What this is going to do is it's going to bank from this wall off this pillar and down into the cubby below. I'll zoom in if you need an exact lineup, but it's just around here. And as you can see, this banks down and hits the cubby and close left mid door. On catwalk itself, there's a few smokes you need to know in order to hit the A bomb site, starting off with the easiest deep CT spawn. Put yourself in the corner of this metal wall and look for the corner of this building. Simply left click throw and this will land exactly how it did towards long and block off CT spawn. Next up from cat is the cat progression smoke. Now there's two ways to throw this. I'll show both. One of them has a very interesting one way and the other one is just to get up cat quickly. The first one is the standard cat progression to get up cat quickly. Find yourself in the corner with this crate and look for this line along the staircase. Place your crosshair just about here in between the gap of this crate and the wall and left click throw. This is going to land as the cat progression smoke which will block off any enemy CT holding on the bomb site. A different way to throw the cat progression smoke that gives you a one way in order to get a kill is by doing this. Find this metal grate along the wall and put yourself in the middle of the bars. Turn around and find this dot on the wall. Simply left click throw and this will land on top of the railing instead of below it. And as you can see here, if I buy a Krieg, you'll have a slight one way towards car and long corner where you can see enemies and get a kill. Finally from catwalk is an advanced smoke that I've only seen really used at the pro level. Uh, I call this the liquid smoke because I got it from liquid in a demo that I watched. Place yourself in the corner of this crate and find this smudge on the wall. As you can see, there's a perfect gap there where you can place the pin of the smoke grenade in it perfectly. As you can see, this gap is being filled by the smoke grenade pin. I'll zoom in so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. That's how you line it up, and it's a simple left click throw. Now what this smoke does is it blocks off the angle of any enemy opper playing long corner. I'm sure you guys have played someone that plays this corner with an op. And what this smoke does is it gives you more room to get to this position on catwalk before they can take a shot. You will not be seen if you hug close to the smokes when that smoke is up. Now you may be wondering what are some good molotovs for an A site execute after the smokes are up. The first one is a default molotov which can just simply be thrown by banking it off this wall. Run throw. And anything along those lines will do the trick of mauling out this default position, forcing the enemy to swing this way. To molly goose, it's a bit trickier. Personally, I use a run throw just at the top of the staircase by coming up and lining up at the very bottom of the leaves of the palm tree and run throwing. However, most of the time, we throw the cat progression smoke so I can't see behind it. In order to molly goose behind the cat progression smoke, you just want to look at the top of the smoke and line up with this telephone pole. Simply tap run throw and that will molly goose perfectly, even spreading to this back corner. After the smokes and the molotovs, you're going to need flashes for the A site hit. 
some good flashes that I would have multiple teammates throw, or anything over the top of this building, or anything over the top of this building. They can be thrown as simple left click throws just like I'm doing and as you can see I'll show you they blind pretty much everywhere on site. Here's default, here is ramp, and here is elevator. Any of those positions will be fully blinded by any of those flashes that just go simply over the building with a left click throw. No need to complicate it, no need to get fancy, a simple left click will do the trick. Now this is a little bit more advanced of a trick, but let's say you wanted to drop CT as a terrorist in order to make a play. With the cat progression smoke, you can get in front of it and actually set up for this run throw flash. It's going to be a pop flash that perfectly blinds enemy CTs and they will not see it coming. I've done this a few times in pugs and it's snagged me some easy kills. Simply line up behind the smoke, run throw this pop flash, and hop down CT. As you can see from an enemy CT perspective, let's say my teammates are calling their up cat and they're taking the A bomb site. This flash is going to destroy me and I'm going to have almost no time to react to it. Then there's a terrorist hopping down and he's in my face and that's a free kill. A great pop flash to get your teammates out mid doors is from behind barrels. Simply have a teammate stand about here and get ready to shift walk throw a flashbang through the mid doors lined up here. I'll zoom in if you need to see this lineup, but it's anywhere at the top of this bar, and it's simply a shift walk throw. Now, as you can see, for enemy CTs, this is going to destroy them. The flash comes on their right side, which the door is blocking, so they can only see it at the very last moment. I'll rethrow it here in a few spots so you can see just exactly how it blinds people. Here's the opper, blind, here is any close mid player blind and just again from another angle a close mid player also blind i do believe it also gets somewhat of ct as well if someone was in fact swinging wide this is an extremely good pop flash as anyone with normal human reactions would not be able to turn away from this let's say you're on t side and you just smoke mid to b the CT players are obviously going to react and back up to this position and this position in mid. In order to blind these new positions off, you're going to need to know the mid to B flashes from this pole. Simply line up anywhere alongside the pole, find this corner of the building and move your crosshair so it lines up with the palm tree. Simply run through these flashes and you'll see that they should blind these new positions. I'll hit my bind so you can see just how they land, but again, these flashes should blind any of these players. I believe that one clipped through the wood, let me throw it just one more time. As you can see, it full blinds these new deeper positions so your teammates can get out mid and flood the B bomb site. Finally, heading over to B tons, there's just a few smokes left to wrap up this T side. Starting with the lurk smoke out B. You're going to want to find yourself alongside the left hand of this pillar. These Find these two dots specifically on the wall and form a kind of Tetris shape with them or an L shape. Place your crosshair at the bottom of this dot at the height of this dot. I'll zoom in so you can see an exact lineup, but once you throw it a few times, you should know what I'm talking about. This is a simple left click throw and this is the B lurk smoke. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot in your pugs or games on Dust 2. Sometimes T's will throw this smoke and they'll try and walk up and find any opening kills here or here. The second to last smoke for T side from B tons is going to be the new door smoke that you can throw from inside tons. Find this lock on the box and line yourself up just in the middle of it. Look up and place your crosshair in this corner and just a bit above. I'll zoom in if you need an exact lineup in the sky, but this is a simple left click throw. This smoke is very forgiving and should land and block off the doors regardless. 
Now a very interesting set of utility that my teammate Reloads found is from the left side of B-Ton. To throw this, you're going to want to cross at the start of the round and place yourself in this corner. Make sure it's not this corner, but this corner. Turn around and find this notch in the tons. Place your crosser to the left and slightly below the notch. For reference, the utility is going to be going through this gap in the wood. This is a very hard lineup and it only works on 128 tick servers. I highly recommend practicing this one before you use it in a game. But line up here and you're going to want to smoke. And as you can see, that will perfectly smoke off the window for B. Now along with this window smoke, you can actually throw flashes from the same exact lineup. So as you can see, as a support player, you can throw the smoke and then two flashes. And I'll show you just how those land for everyone on B bomb site. I call these the B bomb site God flashes because God himself is literally full blinding all these kids playing B. Look at this. Blind. This position. Blind. Um, let's go doors. Blind. These flashes literally destroy anyone playing the B bomb site and they're perfect for executing. Heading over to the CT side, the first smoke that every single person should know is the mid door cross smoke. Simply bank it off this box in any way possible. This smoke is used to safely cross mid from enemy oppers. Please, 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 everyone know this smoke because I am tired and sick and done of getting shot through the mid doors. Thank you guys. Thank you for memorizing that. Really appreciate that. But no, seriously, getting into the CT utility for Dust 2. First up, we're going to go over Long and its utility. So if you've watched Pro Play, you know that the meta right now is really taking heavy long control. Now, how CTs do that is by first up mollying the long doors. So the best spawn will always come and insta molly long doors. Now, you can do this with however many lineups you want. But to be honest, you just gotta run and get the molly in the doorway. Make sure that they cannot come out with this molotov. Every time you are fighting for a long as counter terrorist, you should always have a teammate with you with these two support flashes. Now, the reason there's two flashes is because the first is thrown to blind the enemy T's as they peek. And the second is thrown so that your teammates can swing and fight with the flash. I'll show both flashes from two different positions so you do not miss them. From long corner, the first flash is going to be directly above the medic sign. Now as you can see, any enemy T that peaks is going to get blind. Now the second flash, in case the enemy T's are already out through the doorway, needs to be deeper. So move your crosshair from here to here. So above the medic sign first, below the medic sign second. Now what that does is let's say the enemy T's smoked your Molotov and they got out. This second flash would perfectly blind them so that your teammates can swing with the flash and fight. These flashes can also be thrown from the car position of the right tire. Simply look at the left side of the sun or jump throw along this line. I'll throw both just so you can see the difference, but to be honest, they land pretty much the same. Here's left side of the sun. As you can see, this is going to blind anyone that peeks. And here is the jump throw at the line. Flashback. 
They both do the same exact job. So whatever lineup that you prefer between Long Corner and Car, go ahead and use what you like. From Catwalk, there's actually an interesting molly that you can throw in order to help fight mid and to get enemy tees off of Xbox. Find yourself in this corner and place your crosshair just above the middle of this window. This is going to be a run throw, and if done correctly, it will actually molly off Xbox and below it too. This blocks off T's from getting up catwalk or getting on top of Xbox. A smoke from mid that can be thrown to gain quick control of lower tons is from this position. Personally, I do not like this smoke because it's super obvious what you're doing with it, but maybe in lower levels or in your guys' pugs, it will work for you. So I'll show it here. It's along this corner of the wall. Simply line up anywhere touching the corner and place your crosshair to the right of this smudge at almost at the very top of the wall. I'll zoom in if you need to see it, but it's a simple left click throw and it should land like this. As you can see, it banks off Xbox and allows you to go mid safely and get into lower tons. However, again, I'm just going to reiterate, I really do not like this smoke because any enemy T that sees this should know exactly what you're doing with it. So just be careful when you use it. Heading over to B, I've seen a lot of people need to know the B retake utility. I've got some very easy lineups for you guys that can be thrown all from the same position. So here we go. To smoke off tons and molly car at the same time, find this little opening in the wall. Place yourself in it, stand up, and to smoke off tons, you're going to want, want to put your crosshair exactly in the opening of this crane. This will smoke off tons perfectly for a retake. Now from the same position, pull out a Molotov and find these two pillars. Place your crosshair exactly in the middle at the very tip top of the pillars and left click throw. This should bank off the wall and into the car position, mollying out any tees for a retake. Along with the smoke and Molotov, you can have a teammate come to this colored pillar to throw B retake flashes. Simply put yourself anywhere in the middle of this colored pillar and look above window to the corner of this building. Again, above window to the corner of this building. You want the flashes to pop above window or even go through window. They should look something like this. And I'll show you exactly what they blind on B site for the retake. As you can see, it perfectly gets through the window. So let's say an enemy is car. He's full blind. Someone is big box. They are full blind. And any enemy T's holding back plat are also full blind. Here is a cool pop flash that you could throw for your teammate for catwalk. Let's say they were playing this position commonly known as skadoodle and you wanted to throw a pop flash for them in order to snag a free kill. Place yourself on the corner of default box and look anywhere at the bottom right of the sun. Left click throw and this should pop perfectly above catwalk allowing them to peek and get a free kill. I'll show you how it looks for any enemy T's looking at this flash. As you can see, they barely have time to react and it should full blind them from any of these positions. So as long as your teammate peeks with the flashbang, they should have a free kill. A retake utility is a little bit different just because of how the bomb site works. I'm going to be honest, pulling out a grenade here is a really bad idea. Any good players are going to peek you from these angles or these angles or even the car and long corner positions because you are completely exposed at this position. Therefore, the only thing I'm going to show you from CT for a retake utility is a goose molotov. I think this is one this one is actually pretty useful and can be used situationally. Find yourself in this corner You'll notice that you stop at a certain point, so you want to stop when it stops you. Then place your crosshair just above the telephone pole and left click throw. 
This completely Molotov's goose and even gets the back corner. Now again, I will say it's really not a smart idea to pull out nades here. So that's why that's the only piece of A retake utility I will be showing you. Finally, the last piece of utility I am going to show you guys is a cool trick that I really, really want to know how it goes in your guys' games. Please let me know how this goes. It is a fake Molotov for B tons. I'm sure you guys have seen people run towards B and molly this off the start. However, what a lot of people don't know is that this will always sound the same as long as you throw a Molotov in this position. I'll show you what I mean. Shout out to Hyper Dash for first showing the world this. Simply come towards B just like you normally would, but instead of throwing the molly here, throw the Molotov in this corner. It makes the same exact sound as the Molotov landing here, and you can push and get a kill on an unsuspecting T. I'll throw the Molotovs again just so you can hear the sound and I'll turn up the sound specifically for this part. Here's the Molotov, how it sounds at tons. And here's how the Molotov sounds when I bank it in this corner as well. As you can see, they sound almost identical. No one is going to notice the difference, so what you should do is in a game, you should molly this off spawn a few times. Get them in the rhythm of that Molotov being there and being down instantly. And then one round, let's say you want to go for the B-tons pick, come up, molly this, and push for the kill. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a free opening pick because a T is sitting here with their dick out not knowing what the hell just hit them because they think that it's mollied. I'm, tr I'm telling you guys, this trick should snag you a free kill and please let me know how it works down in the comments below. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Please let me know what your favorite piece of utility was down in the comments below and do not forget that there is a giveaway going on in the top of the description and in the pinned comment. Leave a like if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button, we're on the road to 6,000 subscribers and thank you guys so much for the support recently. Thank you for watching, I'm out, see you fucking next time, peace!